here we have it welcome back welcome back um it's a wonderful day in cougar land it's a wonderful day okay um i'm looking around uh the big 12 and understanding that we have a lot of people that um is pro big 12 and this is just to make things clear. I understand that we have the new Big 12 now, and which would include eight new uh, members. Um, and, you know, the old Big 12 members, the old eight members, uh, probably would like to see though their schools continue to reign supreme, stay on top. Well, I have news for you guys that when you invite competition and add schools that are very good in programs, that's what you want. Um, for an example, these schools wouldn't be added if they didn't bring nothing to the table. Now, this only makes the league stronger. Uh, as I mentioned before, it's gonna take a two year transition period so all the teams can get acclimated. Um, this year, the Houston Cougars, this was their first year competing uh, in the Big 12. And I would say that they fairly did very well, um, with the exception of figuring things out on the football side, which they've done. And like I mentioned, they will be a force reckoned with moving forward. Give it another year, I would say. Uh, you know, they just hired uh, Mr. Fritz. And um, he's a well-accomplished coach coming from Tulane. And you can look forward for the programs being solid. Now, listen, I'm going to just say this now. When they start competing at the levels you didn't think they would, you have to understand you can't be contradictive. Okay? These schools were added because they have value and they bring value. And it elevates the Big 12 as as a competitive competitive conference and so you don't want to get too down when they start winning like oh I want my team to win how is they coming in and winning uh, it's because they're a good program basically you know the action speaks for itself and I understand there's going to be a little resistance and backpedaling on you know a little jealousy, things like that, but just keep it to a minimum because this is what is expected to happen. Now, the schools coming in this year from the Pac-12, they're going to be good. I, I think three of those programs, really all of those programs are good brands and solid programs in one way or the other, and we're going to see that. So the old Big 12 schools just embrace the competition because it's coming and this is what's going to make the the big 12 strong and it may even i believe it's going to accelerate or catch up to uh the sec we're not going to talk about the big 10 because like i mentioned on the field they're not really they're not really that they're just not so we're talking about the sec and to be honest with you uh i would i would and this is what needs to be understood I would get rid of Texas and Oklahoma to bring in those eight schools. That was a good trade. If you look at it like this, the numbers that come from those eight schools surpass Texas and Oklahoma, period. The TV numbers, the brand brands and on the field work surpass Texas and Oklahoma numbers, period. So that was a good trade. If you ask me, I would trade that any day. Texas and Oklahoma for Arizona, Colorado, Arizona State, um, Utah, UCF, University of Houston, um, Cincinnati, and BYU any day. See, if you guys understand numbers, you would be able to understand that you know, Texas only brings so many numbers to the program. So does um, uh, Oklahoma. 
and their numbers, if you add the numbers, those eight schools, I would trade them any day for those two. When you look at it like that, it was a win-win situation. So the Big 12 have become stronger and they're constantly is going to accelerate and they are forced to be reckoned with. As I said before, they are the most well-balanced program, uh, I mean, conference that are out on the field today, out in sports. And what do I mean by that? It's a good chance that at any given year, in any given year, that the football program can win a national title as well as their basketball program can win a national title all in the same year. That's what I mean when I say the most balanced conference. So after this season, I guarantee you, you will see the Big 12 competing at if not the best, but one of the highest, as long as there is no cheating, as we already know. And see, this is why the SEC and the Big Ten is trying to, you know, position themselves uh, to where it could be easier for them to, uh, you know, have the edge over the Big 12. That's really what this is about, because they already know that they come and the Big 12 is coming. So get ready for it. And uh, congratulations to the Houston Cougars for clinching uh, a share in the Big 12 title on the men's basketball side the first year in. Um, they were a good addition uh, to the Big 12. And most likely, they're, they're going to win outright the, the regular season. The Big 12 season title goes to the Houston Cougars. So... That's most likely going to happen. They worked for it. They deserved it. They earned it. Congratulations to the Houston Cougars. And uh, the next round or the next phase of this whole basketball thing will be the Big 12 tournament. Let's see who prevails in the Big 12 tournament. But for now, the regular season belongs to the Houston Cougars. So we want to congratulate them on their first year in the men's basketball and the Big 12 succeeding uh, beyond all expectations. A lot of people doubted, didn't even see them coming, but you got to give credit when it's due. So once again, congratulations to the Houston Cougars. Now, moving forward, we look forward to this Big 12 tournament, basketball tournament, to see who come out on top. Just stay healthy during this uh, tournament and get ready for the NCAA tournament, which where it all counts. But once again, just wanted to mention that uh, to... Uh, the big the Houston Cougars winning their first title in the Big 12 first year in high accomplishment. Um, congratulations. Once again, Global News Sports. Till next time, like, subscribe and have a great day. You're now tuning in to Global News Sports.